Now this looks familiar, doesn't it? This is a doctor's office doing callus removal. And I think this is definitely keratoderma or hyperkeratosis. Without seeing the rest of the foot or knowing anything else about the patient or why they're having this procedure done, I can't tell exactly what is causing the hyperkeratosis. Sometimes you can tell based on other features of the foot or features of the callus, but in this case, who knows? They could have genetic mutation like me, or it could be an adverse reaction to a medication or cancer treatment. Could also be um, like if they were using drugs and now they're sober, heavy drug use can also cause hyperkeratosis. There's just so many ways that this could have formed. But anyway, they're clipping it off with nail clippers or cuticle nippers. And that's not commonly how that it's done at a doctor's office, but with that deep fissure that we saw, I can understand why they chose to soften it and then just sort of dig away at the th heavy thickness instead of like rubbing it with a cheese grater file or some other form of rasp or alternately using like a big wide foot, a pedicure knife like I have or like there are featured in a lot of videos of callus removal. If that fissure is just um, pulling and hurting, they don't want to hurt the patient more. And so coming in and nipping off all this dead skin first will allow for a smoother re removal when they switch to the blade. And I think, I think they must have softened the skin first. To me, that seems like just obvious, generally that's what they do, but also just the way that the skin is coming off definitely implies that it was soaked. In doctor's offices, sometimes they'll soak in salicylic acid, sometimes they'll soak actually in rubbing alcohol, which if let to dry afterward would like seriously dehydrate the skin and make it even drier and more prone to cracking. But right after a soak, that would make the skin super soft just because it sucked up all the liquid and it would also sterilize the entire area. So that is something that doctors do sometimes. Now they're using a scalpel. I've, I've whined about this a little bit before, like aren't there better tools? And in fact, there are lots of comments on this video saying the same thing. Like wouldn't there be, I always see doctors using these teeny tiny little knives. Wasn't there a better tool and there are, in my opinion, better tools that will do the removal wider and faster. But I did see a compelling and interesting video by um, a podiatrist recently who commented on those type of comments saying, we're trained in scalpels like our whole career. That's the tool of choice. And so it just makes sense to use it, even if it seems small and inefficient. That's the one I'm most proficient with and the most comfortable with. And so that makes sense.